Paul, what's the mood around the club? Obviously a great win against the Swans on Friday night. Must be pretty buoyant at the moment. Yeah, everyone's obviously pretty happy to go up there and, and get the result. But um, yeah, we've reviewed it now. We're moving on this week to the Gold Coast. Um, yeah, we got to. We haven't backed it up this year yet, so um, that's what we'll be looking to do this week. There's real backs against the wall stuff. You know, everyone had sort of written the team off heading up to the SCG. What was, I suppose, the main focus heading into the game there on Friday? Uh, oh, yeah, there's a fair bit of talk about who wasn't playing, but we were just looking at who was playing. Um, you know, we back in our structures and, and the way we play, we think we can get it done um, with, you know, the 22 that run out there, and, and that's what we were able to do. Good <laughs> 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 I told you, I've got I'll nothing, jump in mate. I'm still getting back from the Gold Coast. Trust yeah. me. I was going to say, it's like, personally, you must be pretty thrilled with the way you're playing, mate. Like, your form of half-back there has been pretty good this year. Yeah, well, I haven't actually played a half-back at all. I've been playing the wing, so... <laughs> um, but, no, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. It's good to be out there. Um, you know, obviously, the last couple of years had a fair few injuries, so it's just good and you know, to be enjoying football. What's the difference? What, what was the difference for you this season, just getting a better pre-season under your belt? And to yeah, that, that definitely helped. It's the first pre-season I've done um, for a number of years, or uh, well, full pre-season anyway, and, um, you know, just don't have, you know, the, getting the body right and, and the mind right, and, um, you know, I, I just back myself in when I get out there, so, and, you know, with the, with the support of the coaches and the playing group, it's helped. Did that just come your way, do you reckon, save that game? Did you just let it come to you, or did you take it upon yourself as a senior-ish player to say, well, I've probably got to deliver a little bit? Uh, yeah, I guess I sort of set myself the last couple of weeks. I hadn't started the game as I wanted personally, and I guess as a team as well. Um, I was able to finish off the games the past couple of weeks all right. So, yeah, I just wanted to start well. Um, yeah, I knew we had to going up to Sydney. Uh, in front of their home crowd, we needed to, to get on the front foot and take it up to them. So, yeah, I guess there's a little bit of a focus. How did you do that? How, what was the difference between how you started previously and how were you able to start this one better? Um... That's a good question. No, I, I don't know. I prepare the same way for each game, and I, as, as I'm sure everyone else does. Um, yeah, I guess the way we played last week, everyone sort of had that little bit of fire in the belly, wanting to just show that that was an anomaly and we won off, and um, yeah, we were able to do that, which is good. Does the challenge this week become all the more different? You're, you're facing a side you're expected to beat. You're coming off a really good win. Is that the big challenge this week to actually maintain? Yeah, I guess, yeah, just to, to come and you know, show up and, and play our way. Um, you, know, you saw last night Gold Coast are holding their own this year and they're going to provide it, you know, a good challenge this week. So we've just got to make sure that we prepare the same way um, physically and mentally and, and make sure we rock up for the challenge. Can we get some reinforcements, do you think? Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. We've got main training in a couple of days, so um, I'm, I'm thinking a few of them are, are sniffing around and um, yeah, we might get a couple back. We'll wait and see. Slowing a good chance? Uh, I don't know personally. I, I'm not really a doc. I don't, I was, you know, how's your ankle? He always says it's good. So, um, yeah, we'll wait and see. Yeah. So mentally, obviously, down against Collingwood, great against Sydney. You spoke about getting that consistency. How does that happen? What, what do you do to, to make sure you are switched on every week? Uh, yeah, it's just all to do with the preparation, starting with the, the training, main training, um, then rolling out into your individual preparation, I guess, with the 48 hours leading up into the, towards the game. And then when you get to the game, uh, make sure that you are mentally switched on, however that may be. Also, um, some blokes you know, may uh, you know, need to stay a bit more relaxed. Some might need to get into the zone earlier. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, as long as you, you prepare yourself, then I think we'll be right. What does it say about your team to have all those guys out injured last week? And still get a result like that. Oh, I guess um, you know probably shows the depth for one. We do have the depth there. Um, the game plan, I think it, it shows that that holds up. That we have blokes that come in and play the role and are able to play against a quality side like Sydney. Um, and then I think yeah, you know, the resilience and you know the culture at this club's um, you know pretty special. You must back it up. As you said, Gold Coast, they've been travelling okay. You've really got to back up that win, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, you know, football. We got it we, as we saw from Collingwood to Sydney. Um, it turns around pretty quickly, um, but it can also go the other way. So we've got to make sure we we come out on the front foot and attack Gold Coast. Most oh. unusual. Adelaide has four games the Adelaide Oval in a row now. Obviously, yeah. one is a, an away game against Port Adelaide, but you play at home for four consecutive weeks, which is unheard of. Is it a chance for the club to really consolidate their position on the ladder? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we obviously want to win every time we, we step out there. Um, and I think we have a pretty good record out there. So, yeah, but um, we can't look past Gold Coast this week. But, yeah, as you've alluded to, we played four games there. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can set ourselves up. Is it just a home crowd or is it something about the grounds like dimensions and stuff that the team really enjoys playing on? Uh, oh, the supporters obviously are unreal. You get to play in front of 50,000 every week. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know, I guess... Training there, you know, a bit of familiar, 
I'm not going to say that, stuff that word up. <laughs> the familiarity of um, the ground and everything like that. I guess I guess that helps. Um, but I don't know. We just seem to seem to play well there. How do you feel? You you wouldn't be travelling for a month like that. Wouldn't have happened to you in your time here. I'm no, sure not since I was at Collingwood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, How's no, yeah. Yeah. Now I've forgotten what that looks like actually, but. Um, so how does that feel? The power of the players will feel about that. I'm not certain. Yonks haven't spoken about it at length yet, but. No, oh, I don't think it'll change too much. It just means we don't have to pack our bags every second week. We can stay in our own bed. But no, nah, when, when you travel, everything's pretty handy anyway. Does that make a difference, Paul, being able to stay in your own bed? Yeah, well, I saw back waking up from the hotel bed the other day, so I appreciate staying in my own bed. What about, how do you reflect on that game against the Swans? I mean, a lot of talk that it's your best one since you won the Anzac medal. Did you look after the game? Do you think, you know, I reckon I turned on a decent one? Um, yeah, I was sort of was frustrated with a couple of things I did in the second half as well. So um, I don't know. I, I guess it was, you know um, one of my better games, but um, you know I don't know. I don't really look back to the Anzac Day clash. It's quite a few years ago now. Um, I'm just trying to play consistent football um, each week for for the team. What about the goal in the third quarter? Sydney really coming at you. The only one that the club kicked for the, for the quarter is all yours. <laughs> yeah, I was happy that one went through. <laughs> Are you surprised at how well Tom Dodo has played? in his first year of AFL footy? Um, probably not surprised, no, because I, I spent a fair bit of time in Sample with him last year and I was seeing him do that at Sample level. Now, obviously, he's got to take the step up and do it at AFL level. Um, but he's, you know, what he was doing last year, he's doing this year. Um, you know, he's, he's an incredible talent and, you know, the way he reads the ball, um, you know, it, it's a real weapon for us. Do you yeah. back Carly as a comments forward? He's I don't know what comments he said. He said that Tom was better than Better than Lee, really. Oh, no, Tommy's only starting his career, but he, yeah, he's doing very well. How about your um, own contract situation? Paul, have you started chats with the club about extending your contract? No, not just yet. No, I'm sure that'll look after itself. Another good story this week. You'd imagine Andy Upton would keep his spot in the team after the weekend and play his 100th game. It's taken a long time. Um, what sort of reward is that for him? Yeah, it has. Yeah, it's unbelievable. He's had a fair few challenges throughout his career, so um, for him to be able to stick through and and stay positive and, and focused on what he wants. A hundred hundred games would be an incredible effort. What sort of character is he away from, from the footy field? Um, he's pretty upbeat, yeah, he sort of, um, but you know, fairly relaxed guy as well. Um, loves a chat and um, jokes around and all that. So no, he's a pretty pretty good bloke. For a guy to come and just play various roles, it can't be easy. Obviously a real reward for the club as well. Yeah, he's handy for us in the sense that he can go forward and back. Um, yeah, and, and it does give us that versatility when he comes in. And, and last year and this year, I thought he's done that really well. Are you guys a bit sort of short in defence, though? With obviously, Cardo, you've also got that hamstring, and Otto would probably be that second tall defender now. Um, I haven't really even thought about it, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't, I, don't know, I don't know who's coming in next or whatnot, but um, I guess last week everyone said we will short in the midfield too. We had blokes uh, come up and step up, so I'm sure someone will do that this week if it's needed.